Hello and hi guys. This is one more on Welcome to Stein Codes. This is the part four of the creating RTS inside of Grio series. And in this series, we'll be going over creating some signals for a unit to interact with the world manager and Im improving the selection system and all that stuff. So uh, to get started, uh, let me tell you that I've not changed anything other than probably the shape of the unit so as to make it fit perfectly over all the uh, unit tiles or the unit images pngs and stuff like that so let me jump into the sprites folder and let me jump into the unit sprite and whatever this is and let me just close it and as you can see the first step that we want to do is use a set get over here and it's it selected and then use the function set selected with value and say if selected equal uh, not equal to value then selected equal to value and box dot visible equal to value so that's it for now and this will allow us to delete all this code present over here and i'm just gonna add a pass and let me just change the selected equal to true to set selected and use set selected over here as well set uh, set That selected false and that's it for our input function and let me just try it out and it's working perfectly fine so now we need to add some signals the first signal is going to be was selected the second one is going to be uh, was the selected and I'm going to use the ready to say connect and I'm going to use was selected target object is going to be get parent because I'm going to be assuming that this unit is going to be the child of the world uh, world node which is going to have the world manager attached to it so that's how I'm going to be assuming for now but in future I might just change this line of uh, this point to point to the world rather than the parent we, we can also say uh, viewport.getChild and that will work fine as well and that will be more permanent solution but this is what I like to use for now and the method I'm just gonna use select unit and I'm just gonna copy it and change select to deselect and select it to deselected and use this function to say if selected then emit signal was selected and the argument will be self else emit signal was deselected this time the argument will be again self and that's it for now or oh, this is everything that we are going to be adding to our unit script so let me just take another look and yes it's perfectly fine and let's quickly create our world manager I'm just gonna create a new script. Uh, call it world manager. And as part, I'm gonna use this scripts folder and create new. And it's going to only have one variable for now. That is going to be selected units equal to. I'm gonna 
fit it as an array and I'm going to create the functions to select unit I'm just going to take in unit and uh, yeah I'm just going to say if uh, if not selected units that has unit then selected units dot append unit and for debugging purposes I'm just gonna add the print statement and say se uh, se selected s I'm just gonna say unit dot name I'm mean, gonna just copy and paste this function and change this not selected to selected and append to erase and select it to deselect unit and select your deselected and everything is done so this is uh, everything that we are going to add to our world manager in this tutorial so let's just give it a shot oh and I just remember that we don't have any units in our scene as of now. So let's just quickly add some units. Let me drag some units right into our scene. Okay, and I'll drag this. And I place it, let me place it back to the scenes folder. And let me just rename it to man1. And I'm just gonna go to make sure these are all locked and ensure that the camera is also locked and everything besides the man or the units are locked. I'm just gonna duplicate them a couple of times and place them at places where hopefully they'll easily be visible and not be hidden by any means. Just create a few of them. I don't want to rotate any of them, but Rotating might be a good idea just to test out all of our scripts and functions and we're done. But if we play the game at the moment, we will see that we are unable to select anything, uh, select or deselect anything. And that's because the base or the canvas layer is stopping our mouse input event. From reaching the play uh, or the units so what we can do is go to the base go to layout and set it to bottom wide and this will ensure that uh, it only overlaps the section that is inside this nine patch rect so that's the part that we don't want to select and I'm also gonna go to the nine patch rect and go to visibility go to modulate and I'm just gonna Oh, I've already turned the opacity down, but I'm just going to turn it down a little more. And this is just so as to give me a feel of the level and where all my units are, so we can still move. We can select, and you can see that we are getting whatever we are selecting. Let me just move somewhere. And now let me try and deselect. And in some random order, I'm deselecting them, and it's working perfectly fine. So, as you can see, and I almost managed to select in this, deselect in the same order. So, this is it for uh, creating basic selection manager inside of our RTS system or RTS game. In the next video, we'll be covering how to use the system manager and add the buttons to this panel over here for showing the selected units and stuff like that but for now uh, I hope you liked the video and if you did please hit the like button and subscribe and also don't miss to hit that notification bell icon and I'll see you in the next video bye for now